Hi everyone, this is a Cancer reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Also cross watchers as well. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys are good and doing well. So I have done a pre-shuffle. So we can jump straight into this reading. So the messages for this reading, we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And we've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And we've got pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Right, so that's the message here. Let's, let's get the tarot. Tap into the energies surrounding this situation. Get some further insight. Do a three card spread. So we've got the hangman in the current position. We've got the eight of wands in the influence position. And we've got the chariot in the advice position. Cancer energy. So let's clarify. Dig a bit deeper. We've got the three of cups. We've got the knight of pentacles and ace of swords. So that is further clarified with the Nine of Swords. We've got Justice, Libra Energy, and Queen of Swords. More Air Energy. Okay, so uh, do remember that this is a general reading, so the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So just flip the roles as need be and only take what resonates with you. Right. Let's sort out these cards so you can see it clearly. Okay. It's better. So, you guys, uh, yeah, this reading... Um, is picking up the energy here of uh, someone that looks like they want to get together with you here. We've got three of cups. Energy. Someone wants to get together with you. So this is someone that you've met before because we've got this could be the one you've already met, the rom romantic partner you seek. So this looks like reconciliation. This looks like a reconciliation of someone that you've already met. Someone that you met on a romantic level. However... It does look like things between you and this person didn't work out well. We've got justice in reverse. Things didn't work out well because this is someone that um, clearly didn't play fair. Yeah, and they were dishonest with you. This is someone that was really dishonest with you. And uh, I feel like the way they, they dealt with you the way they treated you was just really unfair. At the end of the day, it was really unfair. They didn't really... I feel like this is this is the issue here because um, I feel like this is someone that regrets how they how they treated you. Because you, you and this person, you clearly connected on an emotional level, on a romantic level. You know, I feel like at this point, they see you as the one. This person sees you as the one. They want to come towards you here. Knight of Pentacles is someone, you know, looking for something uh, stable. Yeah, so they want to come towards you. We've got the chariot here. This is Cancer Energy. Yeah, this is someone that is determined to, uh, you know, move forward successfully here. I feel like they want to take things to the next level with you when it's all said and done. Because it leads me to this engagement. 
Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. They really want to take things to the next level with you. This is someone that really regrets. We've got nine of swords here. I can see this is someone that regrets how they treated you in the past. There is a lot of regrets because now they see you as the one. You know, I feel like their actions, the the role that they played in, in, in this situation between you and them really sabotaged the connection at this point. For some of you, I mean... This is someone you probably moved on from. You probably moved on from this person. You probably left them hanging. We've got the hangman here. This is someone you probably left hanging. You know? This person could have left you hanging. Take it how it resonates. But this situation was definitely left hanging. Yeah? And, uh... <laughs> I feel like this person... Since you guys are separated, because I feel like, you know, you guys went on your separate ways here. You guys have gone your separate ways since, you know. And uh, this person is just, I mean, it's just really stagnant here. I feel like this person has got a lot of feelings for you, you know. Because like I said, they feel like you're the one, yeah. You guys connected on a romantic level. They have got feelings for you. They just, uh, they were playing games. It looks like they weren't honest with their feelings. Justice in reverse. You know? So, uh, they, they, they may have pushed you away with their games and their lies and deception and dishonesty. They probably pushed you away. It looks like. This person never really opened up their feelings, but they have got feelings. And I really feel like they haven't moved on from you, it looks like. The hangman, they're still hanging around in the background. This person's still hanging around in the background, yeah. Obsessing over you, I feel. Obsessing over being with you, obsessing over reconciling with you here because they feel like you are the one... I feel like it had to take for you to turn your back on this situation, go your separate ways for this person to realise that they made a huge mistake. I feel like there's a lot of regrets here. I feel like this person, you know, they can't stop thinking about you. And it's worse at night. This person has sleepless nights. They think about you a lot. But there's a lot of regret here. So the thing is... There's regret and guilt, and that's what is um, slowing this person down, I feel. We've got eight of wands in reverse. This is, you know, someone move things moving, but very slowly. I mean, and, you know, to clarify, we've got the Knight of Pentacles, more slow-moving energy. So this is someone um, that is a bit of a slow coach. <laughs> You're dealing with someone that is moving towards you. But they are taking their time because... There's a lot of fears here. This person, I feel like they fear that you may not forgive them. You may not give them another chance. I feel like it's a big deal here for this person to actually um, take the steps that they're guided to take here towards you. It's a big deal because uh, I feel like deep down they fear rejection. This is their fear. It's a big fear. They fear rejection here. Yeah, because this is someone... Um, they may have kept you at arm's length for a very long time. For a while, for some of you. You know, because of the deception. Because this is someone that clearly, um, they don't like to open up and be vulnerable, I feel. They got issues with being vulnerable on an emotional level. But 
they know that with you, with this situation here, they're going to have to be in order to have, you know, a successful reunion and reconciliation with you, for things to move forward here with you, they're going to have to um, be honest. They're going to have to open up and be honest about their feelings, you know, Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity. Yeah, because um, I can see this is someone that, that struggles with taking accountability, you know, for the part that they play, you know, in the breakdown of, of, of a relationship or situation. This is the type of person that they like to blame other people, you know. If a situation doesn't go well or doesn't go their way or whatever, it's never their fault. You know, it's always somebody else's fault why a relationship or situation didn't go well. And then this is the type of person, hangman in reverse, this is the type of person, they, they, they don't really learn from their mistakes either. So they will jump from one bad relationship or situation into another without really processing, you know, what they've been through and why they've been through it without really taking any accountability for the role that they play in the breakdown of the relationship. Because as far as they're concerned, it's not their fault. It's the other person's fault. I feel like this is someone that may have um, blamed you. Maybe things, you know, clearly things didn't work out between you and this person. And yeah, it looks like they blamed you for why it didn't work out. This is someone I'm hearing victim mentality. This is someone that has a victim mentality, you know. So everything that happens to them in life is never their fault. They're the victim. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that you're perfect. Maybe you did do something, you know, to upset this person or whatever. However, I feel like this is someone that they, you know, they... They try to um, manipulate the situation. This is someone that may have been like really emotionally manipulative. So by holding back their feelings and their, their emotions, you know, playing games, they pushed you away to manipulate you, to make you feel like you're the one, you're the reason why things are not working out. When deep down, this person's got, you know, their own issues. And they probably got emotional baggage from previous relationships that they, you know, tried to put onto you, carried on with you. When they met you, they probably already had emotional baggage from a previous relationship, you know, that they didn't heal from. And so then when things didn't work out with you, they blamed you, whereas this person already had issues and baggage from previous. And then they punished you. They emotionally punished you. And made you feel that you are the reason why this situation didn't work out. And for some of you, this person, they may have been, you know... They may have let this drag out for a very long time as well, you know, like being really emotionally abusive and manipulative towards you for a very long time. Really try to make you feel like, you know, you were the one in the wrong. For a very long time, this person, this is the type of person that would, you know, punish someone like for as long as they can. For something so petty. I mean, whatever you done to upset this person or whatever you didn't do, this person got upset over something that you did or something you didn't do. They got in their feelings and then decided to hold back their feelings for you, yeah? As a way of, you know, to manipulate the situation, to make you feel like you was the one that did wrong. 
Yeah, this is what I can see. So now, it's like, I feel like, clearly, you turned your back on this situation. Because I feel for some of you, you may have fell for it as well. For a lot, for us, for a lot of you, this person really made you feel bad and made you feel guilty. <clears throat> and you fell for it. So you may have tried to... You know, putting extra effort into making things right with this person, making, you know, to try and, you know, make things better. So you're putting the effort, you may have chased this person and, you know, I feel like, you know, this person manipulated you so that you could chase them, you know, and be the one to put in all the work and make the effort with them. While they just sit back and do nothing and just hang around, you know, taking, taking in all that you've got to offer, but not giving you back nothing, you know, they weren't giving you back the love and attention that you was giving to them. I feel for some of you, it was a, it was a, it was a case, a situation like that. So when you stop chasing them. And you, you put your energy and attention on yourself and, and you focus on yourself, self-love and all that. Yeah, this is what, um, this is what made this person <laughs> really start to uh, regret, regret how they treated you. Because now it's, when you stop giving them attention, now it's like they see you as the one. I feel like they always did see you as the one, but they just wanted to control the situation. But they were controlling it in a very, you know, emotionally abusive way. I feel like this person was very emotionally abusive. Deliberately holding back their feelings for you. Because deep down... <laughs> This person, they want to take things to the next level. I mean, now we've got engagement. It's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, we've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So at this point, you know, this person, they know now. They're going to have to take accountability for the part that they play. They know. They're guilty of punishing you. In an emotional way. I feel like they are guilty. And at this point. They know they're going to have to. You know. Open up here. And come with the truth and clarity. We've got Queen of Swords here. Yeah. They know that. Queen of Swords. Yeah. You will. Want to address. All the red flags. In this situation. You know, because I feel like this person approaches you and tries to reconcile with you here. You guys are going to have to get to the root, get to the bottom of the issues that you guys have in the situation. So that you guys can move forward successfully. You're going to have to resolve the issues here. So yeah, they know that these red flags in the situation between you and them, you will be addressing them. Queen of Swords, you will address these red flags here. Pay attention to the red flags. This is it. This is what they're nervous about. That's what they're scared about. I feel like the thought of opening up to you on an emotional level and telling you the truth of everything scares this person. The thought of, of the thought of confronting you and confronting this situation with you scares them. They are trying to avoid because this is their karma. We've judged this here. This is this person's karma. You might be dealing with a Libra here, or you might have Libra in your chart, because we've got strong air energy here. Yeah. But this is their karma for how they treated you. Now they're going to have to face you, you know, and uh, take accountability for the part that they played and how they treated you. And hope that you can forgive them. This is their karma. Because it turns out that you are actually the one. <laughs> you are actually the one for them. You know, whether they knew it or not, it turns out that you are the one. 
you could be the one. If they do right by you, you could be the one for them. And they maybe could they they could be the one for you as well. If this person does the right thing, Ace of Swords, if they do the right thing by you in this situation, then they could be the one. You guys could probably, you know, work it out, you know, if you can resolve your issues and resolve the red flags. It's possible. But that is required in this situation. Truth and clarity, that is required in order for you guys to move forward, if that is the case, if that's what you want with this person. Yeah, we've got further insight here. We've got not enough. It says frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear slash ego issues, jealousy. This is what I'm saying. This person, yeah, they lack confidence. They self-sabotaged, this is what I'm saying, self-sabotage here. How they treated you was just, they sabotaged themselves because it turns out that you are the one. <laughs> they self-sabotage themselves and so now they lack the confidence. We've got boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Yes, so it looks like this person, yeah, they're arriving, they're moving on. They want to move on with you. Come and give you what you need. I feel like it's time for you to receive. Receive what you need here. You know, so that, you know, you, you guys can progress here. But yeah, it's time for progression, it looks like. It is time for progression. But this person here has a lot of fears. <laughs> because now they've got to confront this situation with you and actually be honest with you, yeah? And tell you and and tell you their truths. They are shitting themselves. This is someone that just does not like confrontation. Yeah, so it leads me to this. We've got lightning. Sudden change. <laughs> Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval of transformation. Yeah, this person's going for a transformation. Serious life changing transformation here. This is what it is. I feel like they're trying to fight it. You know, they're trying to fight the changes that they're going through. But it's too powerful. There's a massive transformation here because it's karma. Is that justice card? This is their karma. And this is what they can't avoid. And this this is what they've been trying to avoid. This is why they're moving so slow. That's why, you know, you're dealing with a slow coach here. This is what they've been trying to avoid. Their karma, but they can't avoid it. They're going to have to face it. And they are shitting themselves. Yeah, we've got ascending. Transcending obstacles. Preparing. Sorry, learning. Expansion. New phase. Preparing for union. Yeah, it's a new phase. They are preparing for this union. <laughs> They're trying to psych themselves up here to come and deal with you. And face the truth. Face their fears and face the truths here. Face you. This is their karma. And they can't avoid it anymore. They can't avoid it anymore. You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, this is what I'm getting here. So, um, yeah, definitely pay attention to the red flags. In this situation, definitely. Before before any um, anything can take place, you guys are going to have to address the issues and resolve the issues in this situation here. Yeah, and this person's going to have to keep it real with you. This is what I'm getting. So that is the messages for this reading, you guys. I hope it resonates. Let me know. Click the like button. Leave feedback. Subscribe if you haven't already. You know, but um, I am available for personal readings as well. If you want more insight into your own personal situations, just drop me an email. My email is in the description below. If not, if you're feeling this reading and you're feeling generous, then, uh, yeah, donations as well accepted. I'll see you soon. <laughs>